Hello to the team you're up out with. Uh, Clinton Cross. And what deck do you play? I took top 16 at the North American uh, in, uh, NWCQ or however you pronounce it. Uh, playing a Trickster, Danger, Warrior, Orcus. We call it a Orcus Soup. Yeah. So yeah. Starting off, you run your standard Orcus monsters, your three harp, your two nightmare, your one one, your one symbol. Uh, people kept telling me you need to play more than one, but if you know how to manage resources correctly, you'll only ever need one. Uh, of course, the one Babel, the one Crescendo. You're theoretically running three copies of this card because you're running two terraformings for the Trickster engine. So, you know, you have more access to that. So, that was, it's pretty nice. I think I set Babel Crescendo um, half of my games, which was nice. Uh, PKs are the two boots, the cloak, uh, two of the fog blades, and a brigadine. Um, I loved that. I wouldn't change anything about this. This was absolutely perfect. I saw them as much as I wanted when I needed to see them. So yeah, this was great. Um, I'm still running the Danger Monsters, as in three Nessie, two Sooch, and two Jack. So I've seen a lot of people cut these for hand traps, and I, you know, I guess that's their preference. I like, I like looking at six cards going second and seeing that every card in my hand is going to be able to be used to break a board, or going first getting value off of um, the mermaid or whatever B I discard. So these are good because they just give you value for the discards. Uh, I was running three three, but you're proccing the discard effect more than you are just revealing to get the draw special. So you're, they're hard once per turn on all of those. Uh, wouldn't change the danger lineup. I like it too much. Uh, Warrior engine, three connector, a dolphin, a graffer, a rota. So yeah, this is. I tried cutting this, but this engine is insane. This makes like going first just so free. Looking at your opponent's hand blind, seeing how their turn's gonna play out, knowing what to set up against them, it's just it's too good. Uh, Greffer's just a free extender if you open wand. Uh, Nightmare uh, messy, you just profit a million. So wouldn't change anything about that. Uh, tricksters, uh, you know, one Candina, one Corbin, the three copies of Light Stage, and the two terraformings. Um, so this is full Orcus combo that just happens to also be MST. So this is great going second. This baits out a Rage, a Roar, a Crescendo, or sorry, yeah, Roar, Crescendo, um, a lot of other stuff. It's great against the uh, back row heavy decks. It's, it's, it's phenomenal. I love this. Yeah. Decided it out a lot, a lot against Thunder, because anything that said, sir, anything that searched just came out in the game too, which yeah. was nice to have the flexibility. You know? uh, the three Twin Twister, because you got to be able to push for game going second. The, uh, the three call to ensure combo goes through. And then this card was actually really spicy this weekend. I loved this. Free body and it helped break boards with the monster I was running. So it was 44 in the main. Uh, extra deck. Uh, two mermaids. Phoenix, Cerberus, uh, Unicorn. Um, I was trying just one, but I always want to have the second one in case the first one gets stopped, or just to be able to go right back into Orcus, uh, Orcus Engine like mid to late game. So it's just great having access to that second mermaid. Um, the three copies of Galatea. She's best girl. Should, this shouldn't be any explanation. Uh, the one longer to. Uh, people weren't expecting this because they think that people are cutting it, but this is honestly just the best way to help break a board. Um, it actually helped me make it to top 16, so uh, the one Rusty and of course the one Sword. The two Den. Redoer is insane. If you're not playing Redoer, play Redoer. And then of course the uh, Thousand Eyes. I don't think I resolved his effect but once. Every other time I got counter trapped, which is what you want, you want that to happen. It's what you're running for. Bail the negates. Uh -huh. Bay out the negates. It's the only reason you run it. And it stops the Ray Loop. Out the Colossus. It can out a lot. There's so much versatility with this card. Um, yeah, I think this um, is, is just the correct. I think this is the correct choice with the instant fusion side deck. Uh, this is, of course, staple right now until further notice. Um, this didn't perform as well as I wanted it to. In theory, going into four set cards and uh, normal summoning Danko was like really, really good. But I think I only did it once. Um, I only cited it in a couple times. I would consider cutting this for possibly like a no material or something. So. And then of course three evenly. I loved this card and was never punished for it, so we ran it at three. Um, everyone, everyone thinks that no one's siding evenly anymore, so people are getting punished by having by not expecting this. So it's really good. Um, I cited two additional copies of MST. It's a one for one trade with back. It's a one for one trade with counter traps, Mystic Mind. Um, yeah, so just it's pretty. It's pretty good. Speaking of two of the Mystic Mind in the set rotation, as well as one copy of Black Garden. 
Um, so I think I resolved this card once and I ended up losing anyway. Uh, in theory, it's really, really good if you could do it in five monsters and your opponent can't immediately respond. Uh, but I think I might possibly cut this or look at to change this into something else. But um, yeah, uh, Black Garden, it's, if you can get, get it to resolve against strike rates, usually it's, it's just game. It makes that, makes that matchup free. But uh, yeah, shout out. Um, shout out to my team, Blackjack YGO. Uh, check us out on YouTube. Uh, shout out to my homeboy Max over here. Hey, yo, Max. Max. What's up? Say hey. Oh, what's up? <laughs> yeah. Gang, gang, squad. Blackjack out here. Gang, 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 gang. Uh, Team school. Shout out to Eddie Sumlin for helping me uh, get to where I was. I went from never topping a regional, never topping a YCS, and then I took top 16 here. So, uh, yeah, that was pretty, that was a lot of fun. But uh, other than that, yeah, that's the deck. All right, thank you for watching, like, subscribe, and see you next time. Bye for now.